Spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. That should never last. If I end up in the cast, I'ma do it that. All design of fact. Dying to live life. I know I can go. So, on Easter Day, by the way, Happy Easter, y'all. We had a lot of great matchups, you know, leading to the playing games that we have today, uh, Tuesday night. You got some big time playoff matchups. And we had one of these games where it was the Timberwolves versus the Pelicans. Winner will face the seventh seed, LA Lakers. And. There was an incident that happened on the bench between Kyle Anderson and Rudy Gobert. Well, it was some choice words that was going back and forth. And let's be honest, I'm just going to say it straight up. Kyle Anderson called Rudy Gobert a bitch. Okay? And Rudy Gobert did not take that lightly, as he should have, right? So he throws a punch at Kyle Anderson. And after that happened, obviously, the Timberwolves let him... Leave the leave and leave the locker room. Get his head to the locker room, and he's not traveling with the team to the to to L.A. to face the Lakers tonight. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about why this might be the end of Rudy Gobert. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We back and get with another video. As this is the first time y'all gonna see my face, see me talking about. You know, basketball with the playoffs coming up to play in. And it's going to be a fun time, y'all. And I'm just going to do what I've been doing, talking about talking about in the NBA, you know, and commentary and, you know, doing a little reactions there and there. Just me talking about the games and everything. But we're going to talk about Rudy Gobert before we get all that. Ladies and gentlemen, Rudy Gobert, who's from France, who was drafted by the Utah Jazz. And... Had a very successful career for Utah Jazz. He's a six-time only defensive team. Three-time defensive player of the year. But where he has not been great at is we can say his immaturity. A lot of people say a lot of people think in the leagues that he's very soft. That he doesn't really stand up for himself. He stood up for himself on Sunday Sunday afternoon. Not in a great way because, let's be honest, I don't believe the Timberwolves want him back. But unfortunately, they're going to have to keep him because look at the contract. They gave up a, a lifetime contract to this man who, honestly, has made this team worse. You know, the Minnesota Timberwolves are a better team without Rudy Gobert. This year, they are 8-4 and four without him. They won the game versus the Pelicans, who Brandon Ingram was dropping them off the whole game. They still won because Rudy Gobert was there. They have more energy. They have more chemistry. They had no more foundation. And the AE was able to express itself about what kind of player he really is. Because Rudy Gobert is just, he's not that dude. Let's be honest. Now, when he was on Utah Jazz... Defensively, he's always been that dude. They always got to the playoffs, and they always either lose in the first round or the second round. You know, there was always uh, reports outside of the court with Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell not getting along. I believe that's true. And you know what happened back in 2020, y'all. I don't have to say, but I'm just going to give a demonstration of what Rudy Gobert did in the, in the press conference. He spread it around. I'm not even going to say it. But it was a pandemic. And I feel like he kind of started it. So, now that the Utah Jazz finally traded Rudy Gobert because they didn't want him no more. They thought they they couldn't win with, with him. And Donovan Mitchell's on the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, the Utah Jazz are just rebuilding at this point. They have Rudy Glory marketing and Colin Sesson, but that's it. He goes in the Minnesota Timberwolves and, like I said, a lifetime contract. 
And it's just this team. People thought this team was going to be a fifth, fourth, fifth seed. Maybe third seed in the West. They barely made the play in. Why is that? Well, obviously, Cat got hurt. Cat was out for a long time. And Cat and Rudy Gobert on the same team just does not work. I don't get what the organization got through their mind, but thinking that. Just because y'all get a, a three time defensive player of the year, y'all automatically think y'all gonna get better because of last year y'all surprised a lot of teams and surprised the NBA by making the play in, making the playoffs. No. No. Rudy Gobert is fantastic defensively. Let's be honest. What does he have offensively? He doesn't have a jump shot. He can't make free throws. He has no handles. No Barely a post game. He does that. He, he, he barely knows how to pass the ball. He he can pass, but that's it. Offensively. We can let's go down the stats. I'll show you all the stats on the screen real quick. He's averaging around 13 points. Not bad. 10 rebounds. But he's known defensively. Since he got on the Timberwolves, he's only averaging a block per game. That is the worst he's ever averaged since his rookie year. He's known for defense. Look at the steals. It's one of the worst. Free throws, a little better, but still not great. 65%. Doesn't attempt to jump shot because you probably airball it. This is what I'm talking about about Rudy Gobert. He just never improved his offensive game. And it seems like that maturity level hasn't improved either because the Timberwolves are really actually a better team without him. So we don't know what the Timberwolves are going to do with Rudy Gobert. I hope Rudy Gobert improves in a lot of aspects in this offseason because he needs to improve a lot in this offensive game. And he needs to look back in the mirror and think what he did Sunday, Sunday afternoon because it's going to haunt him for the rest of his career. Because there's gonna be a lot of teams that are not gonna run to take on it, take on his his immaturity. A lot of teams think don't really think that it's gonna be a benefit having him. But unfortunately, he's gonna to have to stay with his team because his lifetime contract is gonna be hard to get off the books. So, Rudy Gobert, my message to you is, man, just keep keep striving, keep going. You know, everybody makes mistakes. I, I, I kind of feel him in, the, in a way because you don't want nobody to call you the B word. But it's the difference between what Draymond did with Jordan Poole and what you did with Kyle Anderson. Draymond Green was behind the scenes at practice, even though they had the cameras flashing on him. That was in practice. This was in a game on the bench in timeout. Not only a game, a game y'all had to win to get into the play-in. A crucial game. And you do this? It's going to be a hard time to get back from that, man. Big ups to you, man. I hope you come back strong. I hope you improve your game. And we'll see what, y'all, what, what the Timberwolves do in your off season. That's all I got today for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Because I'll be out you you will be seeing me dropping these videos every other playoff game that happens. I'm going to give y'all the commentary on the games and give y'all details of what happens and what's going to be next. So, y'all down for that? Subscribe to the channel. Give your ball a like. Share this video with your friends and family out there. And that's it, y'all. It's been your boy Will, and I'm out.